students you might have wondered if i say uh, there is one more plant hormone which plays a key role in plant growth and development what is that hormone and what is its functions what is the name of this hormone what is the nature of this hormone? what are its functions let us find out each and every one basically let me explain in this moment i would like to explain the abscisic acid and its functions what are the various properties of abscisic acid what are the applications of abscisic acid let us find out each point abscisic acid is a plant hormone which has many functions in many aspects especially in the plant growth and the developmental process including seed and bird dormancy the abscisic acid plays an important role the control of organ size and stomatal closure and uh, during opening a, during closing of stomata in the plant leaf it plays an important by the way what is a stomata if you see carefully a uh, stomata is a god shaped cell or it's a bean shaped cell the stomata is a bean shaped cell or kidney shaped cell protected by a uh, cells called god cells these god cells gives protection to the uh, stomata and to close this stomata to close this stomata the abscisic acid plays an important here closing of stomata uh, occurs by this bean shaped cells called as abscess the stomata now here stomata helps in the exchange of gas as we know very well it plays an important role in the exchange of gases in between external environment of the leaf and the internal environment of the leaf now abscisic acid also helps in the growth inhibitor process which means to stop the growth of a plant in initial uh, in the final stage during initial stage of the plant growth the abscisic acid generally generally produces whereas during final stage at the end of the plant growth the inhibition of plant growth occurs by the abscisic acid here it is synthesized the abscisic acid synthesized with the stem and also leaves fruits and seeds of the plant so the all parts of plant except the flower abscisic acid generally produce here the abscisic acid act as an antagonistic to gibberellic acid antagonistic which means it acts against the gibberellic acid functions that's why it is called as antagonistics here abscisic acid also referred as the stress hormone which because it the helps in increasing the tolerance of plant to different kind of stress now let us find out the abscisic acid its role the abscisic acid stimulates various growth and developmental process in the root system especially in the tap root and in the fibrous root system of the hypocotyle plant here what is an hypocotyle the hypocotyle is a structure of seed during developmental process through which the roots generally develops whether it is a fibrous root or a damp thing it is a fibrous root or tap root system they are developed by a certain kind of structure that is the hypocotyle the formation and growth of the lateral buds also lateral shoots under the influence of this abscisic acid by stimulating cordillary or uh, node and too much lens lesser extent growth of the main shoots of plant here uh, if you take a, a abscisic acid how does it helps in the stimulation of growth in the roots and shoots of plant abscisic acid is a 15c weak acid that was first identified in the 1916s as a growth inhibitor by some scientists accumulation of this abscisic acid uh, in the cotton fruit or in the cotton birds leaves of uh, uh, sycamore trees photoperiodically induces to become dormant dormant so 
here to induce the dormancy in some plants like uh, sycamore and also in cotton fruit the abscic acid plays an important role let me say one more point the plant hormone especially the abscic acid it regulates the drought stress responses by mediating the stomatal closure here what will happen if stomata closed in a specific specific time or in the specific interval of the plant if stomata closes definitely the carbon dioxide could not enters into the leaf so it induces the photosynthesis here if stomata closes definitely plants cannot uh, receive sufficient sufficient amount of uh, carbon dioxide and uh, sunlight especially from the external environment not only sun, not the sunlight exactly but the carbon dioxide so if there is no carbon dioxide what will happen photosynthesis process could not occur could not be initiated so for stomatal closer they were reducing transpiration water loss the abscic acid plays an important role so what will happen if stomata closes the process of transpiration or water loss from the plant leaf will be stopped so to stop this to induce induces this transpiration the abscic acid plays an important role so inducing a uh, transpiration process it's a beneficial to a plant growth and development why because plants can store their water up to longer period of time if there is no transpiration which means if the stomata are closed in desert plants this kind of mechanism is common in desert plants stimulation of abscic acid is very much higher compared with the terrestrial and aquatic plants in the desert plants if stomata closed transpiration could not happen and the plants can store their sufficient sufficient amount of water in their plant or in the roots or in the stem in the leaves etc so exogenous abscic acid applications are very crucial in the abscic applications abscic acid application in the exogenous application what will happen to abscic acid when it is applied on the uh, plants here wilting and allowing plant to survive shorter period of severe drought prone areas in the drought prone areas wilting and allow plant to survive for shorter period of time and uh, abscic acid applications delayed wilting in all crops by 72 1.72 4.3 days so here abscic acid helps in a uh, stress conditions especially in plant uh, growth and development in stressful conditions abscic acid induces expression of defense genes in many organisms to express the defense genes to fight against microbes they needed some genes the plant cells needed some genes to express the genes to activate these genes to exhibit their role the abscic acid plays an important role here the modulates the abscic acid modulates ions and homeostasis and metabolism in gut cells and inhibits germination of seeds in seedling during growth and development it plays an important role see what are the measurement to test this hypothesis there are some measurements to test the hypothesis functions of abscic acid and its effects on the plants measurement to test this hypothesis could not be done in germinating seeds but it will be used to roots as the most convenient system so roots and their growth completely depends upon the plant hormone called abscic acid now what are the effects of one more plant hormone that is ethylene what are the functions of ethylene what are its role in plant growth and development let us find out if you take the ethylene what are the functions of ethylene ethylene is a plant hormone as a plant hormone it plays an important role for multifunctional phyto uh, hormonal functions now that regulates both growth and senses so what senses are regulated by the ethylene let us find out it promotes it means the ethylene if you see the ethylene if you see the ethylene 
it promotes some specific functions. What are the functions that are promoted by the ethylene? Ethylene promotes or inhibits growth and senses processing depending on its concentration and uh, timing of application and the plant species. Now, let us find out ethylene and its uh, major senses during plant growth and uh, development. When this ethylene exposed to plant parts, it induces premature senses, symptoms such as leaf yellowing, abscission or discation or necrosis. So, the plant responses to ethylene vary considerably from one plant to another plant between or within the species or modulated by differential hormonal sensitivity. What I am trying to say? The ethylene plays an important role. Ethylene gas is a major plant hormone that influences diverse process in plant growth and development during stressful conditions throughout the plant cycle. Responses to ethylene such as fruit ripening are significant to agriculture. How? The ripening of fruits, it is a basic and important function. S senses nothing but the ripening of fruit. And also one more function is it helps in the process of growth of plant. The action of ethylene, especially on leaves, Growth may be oxygen dependent or oxygen independent. Here, uh, when there is an oxygen, when there is no oxygen, which means ethylene can have a direct effect upon the leaf growth without having the oxygen or with having oxygen. Now, hormonal coordination, if you take uh, the hormonal coordination, which is important aspect, which regulates leaf growth and process. Now, Oxins which induces the growth as we know very well, but along with the oxins, ethylenes are also required for plant leaf growth and development. What is the color of leaf? Green in color. How this green color uh, generally appears to a particular leaf because of chlorophyll that is uh, promoted or regulated by this ethylene. Now, this is about our today's concept on effects of acetic acid and ethylene.